It is an honor to be here with you today, but I must admit, I'm not a verbal person, which is strange because I come from a family of creative writers. For them, language is a playground to be explored. Curse words are even encouraged, if employed with some imagination. I often hear, writing is in your blood, but as a child, I felt like an outsider. To me, words were stumbling blocks or a hiccup in an idea. When I was eight, my music teacher, Miss O'Leary, opened her classroom before school each day. Students arrived early to listen to music and dance. I had always been drawn to the power of music, but a little bit shy. One day, I spontaneously carved through the space, jumping and spinning. I completely lost myself in the moment. Or perhaps more accurately, something was awakened. I found my voice in the language of the moving body. I am a dancer, choreographer. I tell stories, create worlds through movement. Today, we are going to take you inside the world of a dancer's brain. And neuroscience is going to be our guide. In the past, it's been difficult to peer inside the brain as we engage in a physical, creative activity such as dance. But now, with recent breakthroughs in neuroengineering, we can. Dance practitioners have long understood the benefits of dance. Physical health, emotional release, community building, communication. For the first time, we can study the impact dancing has on the brain. There is increasing scientific evidence to support our intuitive understanding. And we are learning that dancers make ideal candidates for brain study. What if I told you dancing evolves your brain and your desire to dance is embedded into your DNA to ensure your survival? Let's unpack this for a moment. The reason we have a brain is because we move. As neuroscience educator Robert Sylvester points out, mobility is central to everything that is cognitive. Unlike plants, animals need to move throughout the world in order to survive. And since we move, we need a cognitive system, a brain, to comprehend sensory input and make decisions. So, for example, let's say I see a kitty. But if a tiger walked in the room, we got to watch out. Movement is essential to our survival, and perhaps our desire to dance is more important than we realize. Dance is one of the oldest forms of communication. It has existed in every region, every culture. But how does it impact the brain? First, I have to tell you about a concept called neuroplasticity. This is our brain's ability to adapt and make new neural pathways. Our brains are not fixed. They are dynamic systems, constantly changing. Every time we learn something, neural pathways are created. Think of neuroplasticity as the ongoing dance inside our mental lives, which leads me to my next point. New studies indicate that dance may be one of the most neurologically complex brain activities one can do. Dance is a whole brain activity engaging a wide range of neural networks. And when we engage that many networks at the same time, the very landscape of the brain changes. According to a research team out of Virginia Tech, dance employs seven to eight networks. 
This research you're seeing today is testing their hypothesis. Here is a brief breakdown of how dance engages those networks. Oof. Emotional, as the dancers express their feelings. Social, as they respond to each other and to you, the audience. Cognitive, as they solve the complex choreography. Sensory, as they respond to touch, sight, and sound. Motor, as their mind controls their body. Rhythmic, as they respond to time. And this is usually closely correlated with music. Reward, as they experience emotional release, community building, or the self-satisfaction of solving the difficult choreographic steps. And finally, creative. So, we are made to move, and our thinking itself is constantly in motion. What makes dance unique is that it taps into our physical, emotional, and creative self. It continually asks the mover to problem solve, coordinate, express, and fine tune, and in doing so, it transforms the brain. Neuroscientists are now hypothesizing the desire to dance exists to ensure brain development, much like the desire for sex ensures reproduction. Recently, I became part of a collaborative team that is integrating neuroengineering and the performing arts. Our art science effort is investigating the cutting-edge neuroscience behind music and dance and its impact on learning, health, and well-being. We employ the performing arts to better understand the creative brain in action. Two things give us this ability. One, an invested team of artists and scientists that seek to learn together. And two, mobile brain body imaging, or MOBI technology for short. Wireless brain wave recording caps and motion sensors, which are being modeled by Lauren and Tyler, the two dancers on stage. Previous brain study has been limited to stationary activities in a lab, but with this state-of-the-art MOBI technology, we can look inside the dancer's brain during a performance. The first phase of this study started in 2021 as our team developed LiveWire, a performance that focused on the evolving creative brain-body interactions between dancers. The neuroscientists studied the dancer's brain activity during rehearsal and performance over the course of a year. And the choreography represented those neuroscience concepts providing a rich, creative environment for observation. We are now working on a companion piece called Meeting of the Minds, a duet that continues to study the neural dynamics of uh, social interactions. We're going to show you an excerpt in just a moment. Excited for you to see this. Uh, Dr. Anthony Brandt composed the music. Dion Noble and I uh, responded to his musical themes and choreographed a duet that evolves from polarization to collaboration. The dancers are currently in a meditative state with their eyes closed to establish a baseline reading of their brain activity. We are recording and capturing a tremendous amount of data, so we've created a more digestible graphic for you to observe during the performance. On the screen, you'll see a circle that represents each dancer's brain. Inside each brain is their active neural networks. This is called intraneural synchrony. And when the dancers, when Lauren and Tyler's brains, are, networks are synced up, lines will appear between the two brains, um, and this process is termed interneural synchrony. And as probably many of you can see, uh, the neuroscientists led by Dr. Jose Contreras Vidal are recording the data from this performance and will incorporate it into the final findings. So you are about to witness a live experiment in process. Lauren Tyler, y'all feeling good? All right, excited. Um, 
This is the very first performance of Meeting of the Minds, Movement 10. Enjoy. Beautiful job. Thank you very much. The more we learn about the brain, the more we understand the importance of mind-body connection. Movement is more than functional. It defines us. And dance is movement at its most expressive. If we are going to map the human brain, dance is a beautiful portal. You may ask, well, what is the value and application of this research? The dance you just observed has choreographed moments of physical touch, eye contact, unison movement. By using dance to identify brain synchrony, we can understand and facilitate stronger social interactions. Every corporation, every sports team, Every arts org wants to do better, right? 
It's not just about the product, it's the people. We are also embarking on exciting brain machine interface research. Can you imagine a robotic exoskeleton uh, that is not only functional for, say, walking, but can express how you feel as you move? This would drastically change the way individuals with spinal injuries interact and communicate with the world. Additionally, for individuals dealing with neurological disorders, dance has emerged as a therapeutic tool with transformative potential. Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, anxiety, depression, PTSD have all been treated effectively with dance. The combination of physical, of physical movement, um, emotional expression, and social engagement within a dance setting creates a holistic approach to healing. And we're just tapping the surface of this research potential. Consider if there was scientific evidence to support dancing made your brain more receptive to learning, to problem solving, to collaborating, would dance sessions become a part of every classroom and office meeting? But perhaps at its simplest level, this research demonstrates that dance has long served as one of our greatest gifts. At a heightened time of AI and machine learning, it is increasingly important that we keep our creativity, our humanity, at the forefront of our lives. It's time we start thinking differently about our bodies, about dance. So next time you're feeling down, unwell, stressed. Turn up that music and let that inner eight-year-old out. Start dancing. Connect with the ancestors and do that thing we were all born to do. Because it's just what your brain needs. And that is science worth dancing about. Thank you.